warm up and then work on our backs, getting them a little bit more movable. So toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, hips open, shoulders back and down, arms relaxed. And in mountain pose, stretch your crown toward the ceiling, spread your toes. And then inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch the fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, stretch out, keep the shoulders down. And then exhale, the hands behind you. Bring the heart up and the shoulders down. Feel that expansion across the chest and lengthen through the whole spine, out through the crown. And then exhaling, pivot over and bring your hands up and your head down. Move your chin around. Get your neck releasing a little bit. And then bend your knees slightly. Lift your ribs, drop your sitting bones. Feel that spine move one bone at a time as you wind back up and lift your heart. So another upper body back bend as you come into that position, stretching your head back. And then inhale, come upright, release your arms, and just feel the energy beginning a little bit more through your whole body. And once again, arms at shoulder level, shoulders stay down as you exhale to your heart and stretch out to the front. Clasp your hands the opposite way behind you, so shift those fingers in one position over and lift your heart. Feel that back bend as you stretch and then pivot at your hips on over. And again, deepen as far as you'd like. Hands up, head down. Bring your forehead toward your legs, maybe a little more. Your sitting bones toward the ceiling. Feel the stretch. And then again, wind from the bottom of your spine into the upper body back bend as you stretch away. Spread your toes out, no gripping. And then inhale, upright. Release your arms, and again, just notice your spine getting more stimulated. Side stretches next, so let's keep one arm down, the other one out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Keep both shoulders toward your waist, fingertips stretching apart, and lean, no twist, over to the side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down for that rib opening action and out through the head and the fingertips. Take a moment to breathe, then on an inhalation, come back up and release. Feel the difference, that's your yoga, and bring the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder so you can even it out. Stretch up and lean to the side, no twist, don't lean forward. Push the foot you're leaning away from down, Feel that extra expansion through the ribs. Stretch it out, breathing. And then inhale up and release. Again, just feeling how that is stimulating through the sides as we move that spine laterally. And we're going to twist next. So remember, we really want those bones separated so they've got room to twist. Arms at shoulder level, shoulders down, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasping your elbows. Stretch the spine, exhale, and turn to one side. Take a breath, pivot over on the exhalation, in the twist. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Lift your sitting bones, relaxing, deepening. And then staying in the twist, weight on both feet, work your way back up and upper body only for your back bend, making sure you don't overdo that low back when it's twisting. Arms stay by your ears, push out through your head and your elbows. Shoulders toward your waist. Inhale up, exhale around to the center and switch it around. Stretch the spine apart again and turn to the opposite side. The breath in and exhale over. Feel that spine deepen as much as you like on this side. Keep the weight on both feet, the toes spreading out, and then work your way up in the twist, 
Give me two months more of that upper body back down. Elbows back, shoulders down, chest high, and spine stretching open. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, shoulders down, fingertips up, feel your extended mountain pose. Swan dive forward, arms out, chest leading, stretch it out flat, and then drop into ragdoll, just hang. Let those arms go however deep they want. Move your chin around, relax your shoulders. And then one more roll up from the bottom of the spine, all the way back up into mountain pose. As you get back into your upright position, sink evenly into your feet up through the crown and turn your toes slightly out. Knees going toward the second toes still. So remember you're turning the whole leg and not just the knees. Hands above your knees, positioning, not supporting. We're gonna bring the shoulder across toward the opposite side, feeling that spine going back out into a little twisting stretch. And then returning to the center and exhale, bring the opposite shoulder across to the knee, turning your whole body to the side in that twist. And again, back to the center. Round slightly forward and inhale your way back up. You can stay in that position. We're going to do our spine, our pelvic tilt. So the knees are over the toes, the shoulders are over the toes, and the hands are positioning, not supporting. Push the sitting bones back, get that spine nice and straight to start with and then sink into a back bend. So your ribs drop, your chest moves forward, and the crown up toward the ceiling as those sitting bones go way back into a back bend. And then exhale, tuck the sitting bones down and forward as you pull the ribs in and look down. Keep those toes spreading out, not ripping. Inhaling, back bending, feeling that whole spine working. Exhale, you're rounding into that forward bend all the way along the spine. Breathing with it. No pressure in those knees. Just keep those shoulders over your toes. And the next time you're forward, just pause and then inhale back up into mountain pose, feeling that spine a little bit more activated. Hands to your heart. We'll look at your fingers and inhale them toward the ceiling. Another back bend, pulling those thumbs back, lifting your heart high. Exhale, hands to your heart, pivot on over, drop into right down. Pull your hands under your knees on your shins, halfway up, stretch. Elbows, knees, and spine straight, spread your toes, stretch your spine. And exhaling, bend your knees, coming all the way to child's pose for our transition. Forehead down toward the floor, hips back toward your heels, hands, palms up, shoulders down. Feel that whole spine in your forward bend. And then inhale your hands out to the front toward the edges of the mat. Pivot up, slide your toes back. And roll your hips down, your whole body onto the floor, head to one side, hands, palms up at your hips, shoulders down, resting, pump it up. Let your body relax. Take a breath and exhale, turn your head to the opposite side. So keep your hip, feet hip width apart. And we're going to bring the face forward and your chin forward. And then turn your hands, palms down under your legs, hips. Slide your toes back. And then focusing on the right leg, keep stretching out through the base of the toes and lift that foot up as high as it wants to go, but keep the hip bones both down. So you're pressing the hip bones either into your arms or the floor. 
and you're lifting that foot up, knee as straight as you can, just lifting as high as you want for that lower back to do a little work. Take a breath, stretch it out, lift it maybe a little higher. Keep reaching out through the toes. Keep the shoulders down, the chin forward if you can. If that's too much on your neck, remember, put your forehead down. And then exhale and bring that foot back down. When it gets down, you can tuck your forehead for a little stretch on the back of the neck before we do the other side. And again, chin floor forward, face slightly to the front, hips down onto your arms or the mat, and slide the toes back. Left foot is your focus, this time bring the bit. left foot up as high as it wants to go. Hip bones down, sinking into the surface beneath you. Reach out through the toes, spread them out, lift that foot maybe a little higher. Pull the shoulders down, and don't forget to breathe. Get that as high as it wants, or your back. And then take another breath, and as you exhale, keep stretching out through the toes as you lower that foot down. Back your forehead down. Release your arms and clasp your hands under you, or just keep them on the floor. Press the Hip bones down again into your arms or the floor. Chin sliding forward once more. And yeah, we're going to do both feet together. It's going to be a little more intense. So remember, personal practice only oh goes as far as your body needs. Chin forward, shoulders down, toes sliding back, hip width apart. And keep stretching out through the base of the toes as you lift both legs up off the floor. Feeling that low back doing the work, spine supporting you. Stretch the chin forward if you can, or tuck your forehead if you need to. Press into the arms and shoulders and hands. Lift the feet maybe a little further if that works for your back. Only, of course, as much as your body wants to go. Take a breath, maybe a little higher. And then exhaling. Reach out through the toes, slowly lower the feet to the floor. When it's all the way down, release your hands, bring them under your shoulders, tuck your forehead down toward the floor, press into your hands, and all the way back into child's pose. Hands next to your feet, shoulders rolling forward. Feel that forward bend where you used to be back bending through that lower back. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale, any tension. Deep breath. Exhale, relax. And then again, bring your hands out to the front. Come on up onto your hands and knees, just briefly into table position. Spread your fingers out, wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. Get the base of the fingers and heels of the palms supporting you, or bring the fists to the floor if you've got wrist issues, or you can put some padding under the heel of your palm. Knees under your hips, toes straight back. We're going to work the spine again in our little cat pose. So, just like we did when we were doing our pelvic tilts, we're going to push the sitting bones up and back as you drop your ribs, pull your chest down toward the floor and look forward, crown up toward the ceiling. Nice back bend for your whole body. And then exhale, tuck the sitting bones down and forward, lift the ribs and pull that chin just slightly toward your chest, top of the head down toward the floor in your arched up forward bend. And again, inhaling, push it back into the back bend, dropping those ribs and chest. Feel the shoulder blades toward your waist, crown toward the ceiling, sitting bones lifting. Exhale, tuck down and forward again, just rounding forward, arching up. Feel that whole body in the forward bend. And then inhale back to neutral. 
Separate your hands to the end, edges of the mat. And again, slide your feet back. Drop those hips. Roll your whole spine all the way again. And head to the side, hands, palms up, shoulders down, resting crocodile. Take a breath. Just relax. And on your next exhalation, turn your head to the other side. And again, just take a moment there, just allowing your body to release into that surface beneath you. And we're going to bring the forehead to the mat and bring your hands next to your face, fingertips by your temples, palms down, elbows in toward your waist. And we're going to go into a sphinx, so a low cobra. So push your sitting bones down, keep your feet hip width apart, lower body does nothing. Just let it sink. And then inhaling, bring your face forward, crown up, tuck the chin back slightly toward your chest so the neck stretches again. Shoulder, shoulder blades down toward your waist. And then heart forward and up. So let the spine do the work, not the arms. So not a lot of pressure in your hands or arms. Just allow the spine to arch up as much as it wants to into that back bend. Chest forward, crown high, sink the hips, and just allow your body to go as deep into the back bend as you want to focus with that heart forward and up. Take a moment, stretch through the neck, through the whole length of your spine. Take a breath, maybe a little higher with your crown if you love it. And then as you exhale, just pivot down one bone at a time from the bottom of your spine until your forehead touches. When you get all the way down, just take a moment to relax. Move those hips around if you need to, feet hip width apart. Remember in Cobra, Feet stay hip width apart. Nothing happens in that lower leg. Slide your hands slightly further back under your shoulders, elbows still in towards your sides. Inhale, face forward, crown up, chest forward and up. And again, coming as high into that upper body back bend as your cobra wants to do. So think through the hips, through the sitting bones, through the legs, they're doing nothing. Your hands aren't supporting you. We're working the spine today. Let it go into as much of a back bend as it wants. Take a breath. You can come even higher if your spine lets it happen. But remember, not a lot of pressure in those hands. Let the spine do the work. Take a breath or two, chest forward, crown high. Remember, not too far forward with your chin. Stretch your neck. Keep breathing. And then exhaling again, slowly rotate forehead back to the mat. Press into your hands and one more forward again, back in our child pose. Take a breath, just relax. Feel that whole spine in its stretch. And then inhaling, sit up on your heels. Bring your legs out to the front, all the way to the end of the mat, into staff position. So sitting on slightly behind you, core activated, shoulders above your hips, crown to the ceiling. Feel that support from your core, and we'll use that as we slowly roll onto our backs. So just come all the way down onto your lower back, onto your ribs, onto your shoulder blades and shoulders and head. And take a moment there in corpse position. Bring your hands out toward the sides and we'll do a little twist. Again, working that lower back particularly. Sitting bones toward your heels, back pressing down, bend your right leg and put the foot on the left thigh. We're rolling all the way to the left. So roll all the way onto the side, keeping your head down, no overworking your neck. Knee coming to the floor and both hands together in front of you. Take your left hand on your right knee and your right hand to the ceiling. 
Stretch out, keep that shoulder blade though towards your waist as you lower the back of your hand right at shoulder level behind you. Keep looking at it for your neck area twist. Let the arm come as far toward the floor as your middle back twist wants to go. And keep the knee down for that lower back twist. Remember, you can pad anywhere you need to. Always personal practice on your twists. Only do what's right for your body. Take a breath, emphasize those exhalations, letting that twist release all those ligaments, allowing your spine to balance and your body to relax. Deepen as far as you'd like to go and allow that twist to deepen as much as it wants. Take a breath. And when you're ready to release, just let go of your knee, roll onto your back, slide foot next to the other one, and just feel that twist energy through your spine. And of course, we have to balance the body and twist to the other side. So once again, sitting bones slightly towards your heels with the back pressing down, bend your opposite leg, which is my left. We're rolling all the way to the right side. Keep your head down. Don't overwork your neck. Just bring the knee all the way to the floor. Hands together in front of you on your side. Right hand on the knee and the left arm right above your shoulder. Remember, keep it at shoulder level as you lower the back of the hand behind you toward the floor. So you're not moving it toward your foot or your head, but straight back. So that chest area gets a nice opening as you move into your twist. Knee down for that lower back, head turning for your neck area twist as much as you need and want. And just let gravity pull your hand as far as it wants toward the floor or your middle back twist as well. Take a breath, always emphasizing the exhalations, just releasing into your twist as much as your body wants to go. Always exhaling and releasing tightness, letting those ligaments release and your spine move deeper into your twist whenever it's ready. Never force anything. And after a few breaths there, when you're ready to release, just let go of your leg, roll onto your back, and slide the foot near the other one, coming all the way again into corpse position for your relaxation. Shoulders down, hands palms up, feel that chest open, heart toward the ceiling, and sitting down slightly toward your heels. Let the legs relax, toes toward each other, and then just releasing any tension or tightness. Move your head side to side, let that neck area release as you went on. And just allow your body to comfort into that earth surface beneath you, sinking deeper with each breath, just relaxing, letting everything go. And as you deepen into that earth support, just allow your body to relax even further. And allow any thoughts of your body just to release from your awareness, allowing any thoughts coming to your mind to release as well. Just know that it's the job of your mind to produce those thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Right now, there's no need to think of your body. No need to remember the past. No need to anticipate the future. No need to think about any concerns or thoughts at all. Just let the thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. And allow your focus just to turn inward to that peace deep within. Fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. And take a few moments being peace.
course, give yourself a chance to relax as long as you have time. And if it's ready for you to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more fully, just begin moving your body gently, however is feeling right for you today. Breathing more fully, stretching more completely, however you do it. Getting ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation. And when you're ready for that, sitting bones slightly toward your heels, bending your knees, draw your heels toward your hips, bend your knees up toward your feet. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that hug, appreciating the work your body did in yoga today and the work your body does for you every day. And whenever you're ready to release, bring your head and feet to the floor, roll to the side, and sit back up. Getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.